Hello Earth citizens! In this video, I will show you a 10 minute routine to do for deep belly breathing. Now you might be wondering, why do I need to do deep belly breathing? Breathing deeply into your belly means that your mind is in a relaxed state. So this is very good for people who have so many thoughts on their mind, brain is scattered all over the place and you can't ground your energy. Deep belly breathing will help bring all this scattered energy down to the center of your body into your core because breath is life. So when you can control your breathing, you can control the life force inside of your body as well. So let's get started. In order to be able to do deep belly breathing, there are a few things that need to happen. First, you need to have a very flexible spine. If your back is very tight and rigid like this, it's hard to bring energy down to your core. So let's first massage out our spine. So we're going to do rolling back exercises. Hug the back of your thighs and roll gently on your spine like this. So the key here is don't go too far where it crunches your neck. Use your body weight and the momentum to massage your spine against the floor. Let's do 20 of these. Ready? One. Two, feel your spine. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, use your body weight, eight, nine, ten, ten more, one, two, can you feel your spine, three, Four, five, six, seven, almost there, eight, nine, and twenty. Great. Now lie down, hug your thighs, and rock side to side. Massage your lower back, rocking side to side. Feel your kidneys. Exhale, Foo. let out all the tension. Don't hold it in. Okay, great job. Now, bring your feet down to the floor, arms by your side, 45 degrees. Drop your knees to the left side. So keep the distance between your feet. Your feet are shoulder width apart. Keep your feet flat on the floor. Don't shuffle your feet. Keep your feet flat on the floor and just Drop your knees to the left while looking over your right shoulder. Feel the twist in your legs, also your hips and your lower back, of course. All right, switch. Keep your feet still. Don't move your feet around. Keep your feet shoulder width apart and drop your knees to the right side. Look over your left shoulder. Okay, return. Now, stretch your legs out. And bring the, your legs together. We're gonna do some light toe tapping. So with your legs together, tap your big toes together. Like this. You should feel the movement all the way to your hip joints. So it's not like this. You see how stiff my legs look if I do this, but my toes are still tapping? It's not like this. You're moving your entire leg so that you can feel it in your hip joints. This will help you bring your energy from your busy mind down your body so that you can breathe deeper into your belly. You can close your eyes. You don't have to count. Let's just tap our toes for one minute. Relax your whole body, especially your legs, hip joints. And when you really focus on your body, you can feel the vibration starting from the bottom of your feet, going all the way up to your lower belly. Breathe naturally. 
If you have a lot of tension in your legs, you might feel some pain. You might feel some discomfort. Just breathe it out, it's okay. <sighs> 30 more seconds. Try to feel your hip joints. If you can feel your hip joints, becoming painful or getting looser, that stagnant energy burning in your hip joints. Okay, stop. Now bring your hands on your lower abdomen. We're gonna start deep belly breathing. So as best as you can. Sometimes if you have a lot of stress, it's very difficult to breathe in your belly, but do your best, okay? And with practice, it will become better. Keep your hands on your lower abdomen, below your belly button, so not up here, below your belly button. And you're going to inhale with your nose for a count of five, pushing your breath from your chest down to your belly. So you're expanding your belly like a bullfrog. So like this. Push your stomach out. After five seconds, hold it here. Hold your breath in your abdomen for three. One, two, three, and then keep your mouth closed only with your nose. Exhale for five. And when you have no more breath, hold it down here for three seconds. One, two, three, and repeat. Breathe in deeply into your belly for five, Hold it here for three. And exhale through your nose for five. Again, breathe in through your nose for five. Expanding your belly, pushing the air down to your belly as much as you can. If your belly is really round, that's a good sign. Hold it for three. Exhale for five. So we just did three breaths. Just with these three breaths, you can see the quality of your breathing. Is it easy or difficult for you to breathe in your belly? If it's easy, that means you're in a pretty relaxed state. If it's difficult, maybe you can feel your breath getting stuck in your chest, or maybe it's hard to inflate your lower belly like this that shows you you're carrying a lot of tension stress in your chest area and your lower abdomen the center of your body is weak so don't worry if you feel this way don't worry with practice with this deep breathing exercise you can fill more energy into your core and open the blockages of your chest so let's try five more breaths like this okay at your own pace breathe in for a count of five, expanding your lower belly. Hold it here for three. One, two, three. Exhale for five. One, two, three, four, five. Hold it here for three. One, two, three. Like this. All right? Five breaths at your pace. Ready? Go. If you're very sensitive to energy, you can start to feel your body becoming warm. Maybe your hands are becoming warm. That's a sign energy is moving in your core through your breath. Keep going.
and maybe others you can feel that your breathing is getting easier to do if your breathing deep belly breathing is getting easier to do that's a sign your brain is starting to become relaxed if you're done with five let's do one more together inhale hold it at the top exhale through your nose great job now bring your arms down by your side and feel your body you can close your eyes scan your body do your hands feel warmer if you're very sensitive to energy you might feel some tingling in your body or you might feel your brain has become quieter calmer you might also feel a sense of more centeredness in your body you all did a great job now slowly turn your body to the left side and sit up please How did you do? If you still feel like you didn't get to that relaxed state, don't worry. If you're very stressed out, if your body's under a lot of stress, it takes more than just 10 minutes to bring that energy down. So you can try this 10 minute routine again, or you can try doing this again tomorrow. And as you progress, as you practice more and more, your energy will come down more and more and more. Don't expect yourself to be like a busy minded person and with just 10 minutes instantly, boom, you're relaxed. That's not realistic at all. Give yourself some time. Let yourself progress to the ideal state of becoming centered and grounded. The most important thing is consistency. So if you do it every single day, your energy will come down and you will feel deep relaxation. You did a great job. To experience a full one hour brain education based class, please visit a local body and brain yoga studio near you.